Hi everyone, this is Pragati and in today's video, I am going to talk about my IIM Calcutta PhD Economics interview experience. I have already shared a video on my IIM Bangalore PhD Economics interview experience and I was procrastinating making this particular video since a long time and today I received a message on my LinkedIn mentioning that the interviews are scheduled somewhere in March end and I decided to record it today itself in a hope that it might be of help to some of you who have received calls from IIM Calcutta. So let's begin. I applied to IIM Calcutta UGC, using my UGC net score and uh, there was no subject specific test like we had to uh, apply directly through a CAD GRE or a UGC net score and then we were called to the campus for the interview and it was a one day process just the interview and I remember I was the second person who was called for the interview and uh, it was a panel of five professors and I went inside so let's discuss uh, what are the questions they asked me the first question that they asked me was who are professors did I assist at IIM Ahmedabad campus so guys when I applied for this program I was working since one year uh, as an academic associate at IIM Ahmedabad campus and in fact my LOR was also written by one of the professors at IIM Ahmedabad and they asked me uh, who all professors did I assist and what all courses did I assist them for and what kind of work I did there in the form of teaching assistance or research assistance. So they asked me everything about my work as an academic associate at IMA. The second question that they asked me was uh, about my electives during my post-graduation. So those people were sitting with my post-graduation transcripts and they asked me my, about my choice of electives. So um, we had some compulsory courses in the first year of my post-graduation and in the second year uh, we had to choose our electives. Uh, that is the usual structure I guess uh, at almost all universities across India and they were asking me about my choice of electives, who all taught those electives at, at Ambedkar University Delhi where I did my post-graduation and uh, how did I perform in those electives and my, my interest levels in those electives. Um, yeah, that's all. The third question was based on econometrics. So one of the professors who was an econometrics professor there, she asked me to write an equation on the board which represents panel data and then they asked me a number of questions related to that equation. For example, they asked me, um, so we, we put a hat on the uh, on few variables in econometric equations and she asked me that uh, what does that hat represent and what if we don't put a hat, what, what would that equation mean then, such, such minor questions about the symbols in that equation and uh, then she asked me how do we find the estimates of those parameters in the equation which is all econometric stuff, anybody who would have studied basic econometrics would be able to answer that and she asked me what does uh, the subscript i represent so if we write y subscript i or x subscript i then what does that subscript i mean like it might sound very simple to few people uh, but uh, yeah i mean that is what i feel tests your basic concepts she, she was asking me such small small things and uh, she asked me about the omitted variable bias what if one of the variables was missing then uh, what happens like to the estimates and uh, certain other results the fourth question they asked me was about the Bertrand paradox in microeconomics uh, so it, it was more or less a theory, theory question that uh, what is the Bertrand paradox all about and they asked me to represent that thing in a diagram that's all the fifth question that they asked me was a consumer maximization problem and they gave me a, a utility function and a budget constraint and they asked me to solve it using the Lagrangian method very simple for any econ graduate but then they asked me very uh, small small things about the lambda that we used use in the uh, Lagrangian equation 
so they ask me what does this lambda represent what if lambda changes by one unit what does that mean and they also ask me whether lambda could be zero or negative like what is the range of values that lambda could take so yeah that was another question the sixth question they asked me was about price elasticity of demand so they asked me to tell them the difference between price own price elasticity of demand and cross price elasticity of demand and then they asked me to draw a linear demand curve on the whiteboard and they asked me whether elasticity is constant across that curve and uh, they also asked me that if it is not constant then draw a demand curve where the elasticity is constant which i suppose is the hyperbolic uh, demand curve in the end uh, they were discussing my past research experience and uh, i had worked on a project linking health and air pollution so they were asking about my interest in environment economics and one of the professors questioned me uh, certain things about environment economics so i had not studied environment economics in the past i was just assisting one professor during my undergraduate on that project so i really did not know the terminology and i couldn't answer that so uh, one question that i could i could answer i remember is that uh, what is pigouvian tax and they again asked me to represent that in a diagram on the board so the result was that i got a call for the interview and uh, i decided to come to bangalore over calcutta like all, all three abc are amazing uh i i think all are equal it's just that i wanted to uh, live in bangalore so because of the preference of the city i decided to choose bangalore over calcutta thank you i hope uh, you will find this video helpful